guys, it's me, Olivia, and I just got back from ALA, which is the American Library Association Conference. I had an amazing time. It was in New Orleans this year, which just happens to be pretty close to where I live, so I was able to just travel over. I really hadn't heard anything about this ALA conference until I saw it posted on Twitter. So I began to search and try and figure out more, and that's when I stumbled upon the fact that it was very similar to BookCon, except that it was directed more towards librarians, booksellers, and reviewers, whereas BookCon Con is directed towards all those people as well, but also fans. So I don't think that this is so much a fan event because there wasn't panels or anything like that. It was a lot of meetings and conferences that had to do with librarians as, as well as reviewing books, but they also had authors there to sign and were giving out arcs for review. So I was so excited to go attend. I asked my friend Amanda if she wanted to go with me because she loves books as much as me. And we had an awesome time. We only went two days but in total, I ended up getting 44 books, which is freaking insane. I realized all of these books were given to me for free. A lot of them are ARCs, which means they are advanced reader copies, which have not been released yet. But some of them are books that have actually been released already. And some of them are even hardcover books. So I, I am so thrilled to share with you what I got. I know that I just bought books and I kind of regret doing that now because now I have all of these books to read, but I mean, who complains about having a ton of books? Not this girl. So because there are so many books, I am just going to go through these super quick and not give you really a synopsis at all. And I am so sorry about that, but I don't want this video to be forever long. I will try and tell you a little bit if I know something about the book or if it's a fantasy or contemporary, but I just don't have time to give a full synopsis, but definitely go and check out all of these authors on Goodreads. And without further ado, let's get to the books. All right, so I'm gonna start off by showing you the books that I have that have already been released and then we'll work our way through the year. So the first book I wanna show you is The Hundredth Queen by Emily R. King and this is a fantasy story that already has four books out in the series so I highly suggest you go and check her out. I actually met this author and she signed this book for me and she was so sweet and wonderful. I know it has stuff to do with magic and a warrior queen and that sounds good to me. The next book I got is Restore Me by Tahira Moffey and I also got to meet her and she signed the book as well. She, like all of the authors I met, were super sweet. I really had a great time talking with authors. It was so personal and so nice to meet them but this is the fourth book in the Shatter Me series, which I just purchased. And if you watched my haul, then you probably saw that I got the box set. So it's really exciting to get this, especially for free and to meet the author. Super cool. The next book that I got was Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. And I've heard that this is a super emotional contemporary story that deals with a lot of emotional topics and everyone loves it. So I'm really excited to get into this one. I did get to meet this author as well and get her to sign the book wherever her signature is. Can I find it? Yes, I can. So the next book I got is the book called A Line in the Dark by Melinda Lowe. And this is supposed to be a thriller, kind of like Pretty Little Liars meets Gone Girl. And Melinda Lowe is an author who I recently purchased some books by her. She has some female on female fantasy retellings that are supposed to be really good. So when I saw her name, I immediately recognized it. So the next book I wanna show you is also a contemporary story. And this is Down and Across by Arvin. Amadi, and this book is supposed to be a quirky story about a boy who's trying to figure out what to do with his life, and he meets a girl who has her life kind of planned out, but sends him for like a roller coaster ride of self discovery. The next book I got is another contemporary that's been awarded the Schneider Family Book Award, and this is Your Welcome Universe. Your Welcome Universe? Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner. And this book is supposed to be a contemporary story. And this book is about a girl who enjoys doing graffiti and she gets caught and her friend is ends up snitching on her and it turns into this whirlwind of her risking arrest and expulsion from school. So this story I bet is going to have a lot of art themes. So the next book I got was The Fall of Grace and this is by Amy Fellner Domini. And this book is kind of like a mystery story where this girl has this perfect life until she finds out that her mom has lost all of these funds and she has the FBI knocking at her door and she wants to clear her mom's name so she's not considered damaged goods. The next book I got was one I was super excited to get because I have been looking forward to this book for a while and I wanted to read this one mainly because the day before I got an arc of the book that's coming out next in this series but I didn't have the first one and it turns out luck was in my favor and I got it and that is Warcross by Marie Lu. This is like a sci-fi story that has been described as Ready Player One meets Hunger Games meets Minecraft so 
I'm there for it for sure. So that's all of the books that I got that are already currently out. So now I'm going to start on the books that are coming out in July. And the first book I have for that is Focus Focus and the all new sequel. And this is more or less two books in one. The first one's going to tell a story of the original Hocus Pocus. And then the next story is going to be set like several years later where the two main characters have married and the story's all about their daughters. The next book I want to show you is the book that I am the most excited about getting. This is the number one pick. I did not even realize that they were giving this out. I didn't think there would be any arcs of this story. And oh my God, was I excited when I saw it. I actually squealed. You can ask my friend Amanda. I should have gotten it on tape. And that is Bright We Burn by Kirsten White. My cat's active right now. This is the third book in the And I Darken series, which is a gender flip Vlad the Impaler story that is freaking fabulous. And if you haven't read it, please go do it. It's very close in the running for my favorite book of the year. So the first book I have that comes out in August is The Sea Queen by Linnea Hart Sue Soiker. I'm sure I don't want to mess up her name, but I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This is the second book after The Heart Drowned King, which is another book that she released, I think, last year. So this is a fantasy story that has to do with Vikings and stuff. So if that interests you, this is adult fictions. This next book is a contemporary story that goes on sale in August, and it is We Regret to Inform You, An Overachiever's Guide to College Rejection by A.E. Kaplan. And this is a kind of comical contemporary. And this is a story about a girl who thinks she should be a shoe into colleges and she starts getting all these rejection letters and she thinks that someone has like tampered with her transcript so this one's sure to be super funny and this releases in august the next book is a ya fantasy and this is sea fire by natalie parker and this is a book that is supposed to be really good plus look at this cover and fun fact the author graduated from my college so that's super cool the next book i have is an adult fiction book called if you leave me and this was written written by Crystal Hannah Kim, and this is a book about forbidden love in the time of the Korea Civil War. The next set of arcs I have to show you are all ones that are going to be releasing in September, and the first one is one that I've already talked to you about, which is Marie Lou's Wild Card. I was so excited to get this arc because this was one that was really sought after at BookCon, and we had no opportunity at all to get it, so when I found out they were giving this one away, I of course jumped on the opportunity. This next book is an adult fantasy, and it is called The Lost Queen by Signe Pike, and this book has been described as Outlander meets Camelot. The next book I want to show you is a YA retelling, and this is Pride by Ibi Savoy. But this is a Pride and Prejudice remix, as she says, which I absolutely love that idea. This next book is called Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis, and I have read one of her sci-fi um, stories before. I think it was like Across the Universe or something. But this is a YA fantasy story that has to do that has to deal with forbidden magic as well as necromancy, alchemy, and all things fantasy. The next book I got does not have the final cover, and that is And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness, and he was the author of And the Monster Calls, or When the Monster Calls, or Just the Monster Calls? I can't remember. This is a retelling of Moby Dick told from the whale's point of view, and I just felt like that was super unique. Plus, this was kind of forced upon me. The lady was like, you have to read it, and what can I say? No. So the next book I got is the second book in a series and it is The Iron Flower by Lori Frost and this is the second book in the Black Witch Chronicles and the first book was The Black Witch. This next book is called Twice Dead by Caitlin Seal and this is a YA fantasy story about necromancy. This next book is a YA nonfiction and it is called Just Mercy Adapted for Young People, a true story of the fight for justice by Brian Stevenson and I was told by the lady who was recommending this to me is that if I read it, it would end up being my favorite book of the year. And again, I just trust people, so I got it. The next book I have that's coming out in September is a book by my favorite author who I've already sang her praises in this video, and that is Kirsten White. And the book that I got was The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. So this book is supposed to follow Elizabeth Frankenstein as she watches what happens with the monster and all of that stuff. This next book I have, I got to meet the author for, and she was so sweet and wonderful, and I am so excited to jump into this story. Also, fun story, she actually recognized my channel name. It was the first time I have ever been recognized for my channel name, so it was so special, such a special moment. And that is Courtney Summers, and she has the book Sadie, which is supposed to be a YA thriller that sounds really, really good. So I suggest that you check this one out for sure. So now I'm going to show you the books that I have that are coming out in October, and the first one I want to show you is... Tahira Mafi's A Very Large Expanse of Sea. And this is a own voices novel that essentially tells the story of Tahira Mafi's life. Although it is a work of fiction, it 
is inspired from true events that happened to her as she was going through high school. I'm so excited to read this. Own Voices novels are so important and I think that this one is going to be just so wonderful. And again, I got to talk to her about this one a little bit and she signed it, so that's exciting. The next book I want to show you is one that we missed out on getting at BookCon, so I was so excited when I saw it there, and that is Dear Evan Hansen, the novel, and this is written by a couple of different authors who are the creator of the hit show. This story is inspired by the musical Dear Evan Hansen, and I suggest you go and check out the soundtrack because it's freaking amazing. So we were so excited to get our hands on this one. We stood in line for this one, so very, very, very thrilling. This next book is a book that we also got to meet the author for, and that is Damsel by Elena K. Arnold. And this is a story about a princess who is rescued by the prince, but she has no memory of what happened to her while she was in the dragon's lair. So it's a story about discovering that and also figuring out what she's going to do now that she has been rescued. So I think this is going to be a good one. The author promised me there was lots of cats and cats are my favorite thing, so. This next book was marketed to me as a book for someone who really enjoyed The Fault in Our Stars. And that is The Healer by Donna Freitas. But this book is about a girl who suddenly has the power to heal people and people believe she is a saint. And she starts to live a life that is obviously not very normal anymore until she finds this boy that she starts to fall in love with, but she may have to trade in her powers and stop using them in order to be with him. This next book is one that I was so excited to get. Oh my gosh, I wanted this so bad at BookCon, but of course I didn't get it. But that's okay, because I got it here. And that is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Salvera. This is a book that they co-wrote together and oh my god who would not want this? I mean they're popular. If you don't know who these authors are like look them up. This next book is another one that we were trying to get at BookCon and we couldn't get and of course we got it here which is obviously why I freaking love the ALA conference better than BookCon because of the books. But this is Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tuckholt and this is a gender flip retelling of Beowulf so yes. This next book is a YA thriller called The Perfect Candidate and it is by Peter Stone. Amanda was all into the thrillers and I kind of jumped on the bandwagon with her and I haven't read a lot of thrillers actually so I thought YA thrillers was probably the best place for me to start so I'm excited to jump into this one. This next book is the second book in the series. It is Select Few by Merritt Weisenberg and this is the second book in the Select series so I was really excited to get my hands on this one. This next book is called The Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Weymouth and this book Book is supposed to be about these three sisters who are swept into like this magical Narnia like world and after living there for several years they end up coming back to our world and realize that only like a day has passed even though it's seemed like many years to them so this story is gonna deal with like how they're coming back into our society and what it was like being in the fantasy world where they were and the consequences of all of that time passing but really no time passing here on earth this next book is another book that we were trying to get at BookCon and is Lauren Oliver's Broken Things and this book is a psychological thriller for YA and the final book I have that comes out in October is The Brilliant Death and this book is supposed to be a story that is supposed to like question gender fluidity but it says a daughter torn between loyalty to her family and owning her power and a debonair orphan with a gift for shape-shifting. A lush, sweeping, gender-bending, and endlessly surprising story. These next few books are ones that are set to release in November of this year and the first one I want to show you is Little White Lies by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And this book is marketed as a kind of mystery story, but about debutantes, so okay. The next book that we got was The Wren Hunt by Mary Watson. And this book is a YA story that is supposed to be good for fans of The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater, which I absolutely adore. So all I had to see was that little tagline and sign me up. And then the final book I have that's coming out in November is Any Second. And this book is written by Kevin Emerson. And this is a YA story that has the themes of like mental illness and dealing with anxiety. And it is supposed to be like, and this is not necessarily like YA or adult. It's supposed to be like a genre bending story to where it could be read by anyone, which I mean, I feel like any book in any genre can be read by anyone, but that's what it said. So that's what I'm telling you. This next book is the only one I have that is supposed to come out in December. And this is Deadfall by Stephen 
Wallenfels. And this is supposed to be kind of like a survival thriller where these two boys see that there has been like a deer hit in the middle of the road and the tire tracks are leading down off this mountain road into a ravine. They know that they need to go help. So both of them go to the car and they're trying to see like what's going on and they hear this sound in the trunk and whatever is in there ends up like changing things and causing them to have to kind of fight for survival. But it sounds really good, right? These next two books I have are coming out in January of 2019. And the first one is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. And this book is about a kingdom that has been cursed and only true love can save it. So it kind of sounds to me like a Beauty and the Beast retelling, which you already know I'm here for. And the next book I have that's coming out in January 2019 is Breathe by Kate McGarry. And this I believe is a YA contemporary that is supposed to be a story about how love can grow through like mutual respect, which is a theme that I'm all behind, so why not? This next book is the only book I have that is releasing in February of 2019, and that is Enchante by Gita Release. And this is a book that was described as Caraval in the time of Marie Antoinette, which sounds like tons of fun. And these last two books I have are both coming out in March of 2019, and the first one is Never Contented Things, and this is a fairy novel by Sarah Porter. And this is kind of like a fairy horror novel that was marketed as a book that you should definitely read with the lights on and I'm all about taking fairy to like the deepest darkest place so I'm here for it and the final book oh my gosh are you guys tired I'm tired I feel like I've ran through these and like haven't had any of my personality just like straight speech even though I told you I wasn't gonna tell you anything about these books but like how can I not I have to market them to you it is finally a book that is promised to be the thriller of the year for 2019 and that is beautiful bad by Annie Ward and this book is supposed to be really good for people who like the story of woman in the window which I know got a ton of hype and this book is coming out in March of 2019. Did I say that other one was coming out in March? I hope so. <gasps> I tried my best to give you little snippets of stuff but you know I like to talk. If you guys are interested in any of these books please sure to comment down below and leave the titles that you're most interested in. If you guys want to become friends on a closer level be sure to follow me on Twitter where we can talk more personally over there and make sure to add me on Goodreads as a friend because I add everyone so do not be shy send me a friend request. I am so thankful to those of you who stayed to the end of this video and I hope that your day is simply the best and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.